Water can act as an acid or a base. Water can react with itself. One molecule acting like an acid, another acting like a base to form H3O+. When this water molecule donates a proton to this water molecule, I'll form an H3O+, and leave behind an OH-. This is called the autoionization, autoprotolysis, or autodissociation of water. This occurs in water, and I can write the equilibrium expression for this. Again, I'd have the products, H3O plus times OH minus. Over the reactants, both of them pure liquid water, so they don't appear. So the equilibrium expression for the auto dissociation of water is the product of H3O plus and OH minus concentrations. Now, this equilibrium is always true in water solution. Remember, regardless of what other equilibria are occurring, all equilibria work together in a solution to satisfy themselves. So in water, this is always true. The H3O plus concentration times the OH minus concentration will be the equilibrium constant for that reaction. The equilibrium constant for that reaction at 25 degrees C is 10 to the minus 14th. So you can see this doesn't happen very significantly. Acid base forms of water have a very small K. So this reaction is very much favors the water, and the concentrations of H3O plus and OH minus in solution will always be very low, their product always being 10 to the minus 14. Here we have H3O plus and OH minus both equal 10 to the seventh. That would be if I had pure liquid water, and I allowed them to dissociate, you'd have equal amounts of H3O plus and OH minus. So pure liquid water in equilibrium, the H3O plus and OH minus concentrations are equal, and they're very small, 10 to the minus 7th molar. We define the pH of a solution as the minus log, log base 10 of H3O plus is the pH, minus log base 10 of the OH minus is the pOH. And recall when you take the log, you're taking the exponent, log base 10 of 10 to the exponent is just the exponent. So minus log of 10 to the minus 7 is 7. So the pH of pure liquid water is 7. The pOH of pure liquid water is 7 due to the auto-ionization and auto-dissociation of water.